Hello my travel friends and welcome back to another video. Before you forget, please go and subscribe. It would make my day and make me so incredibly happy. I do travel videos and other things like that and inspiration. So if you want to see more of that, please go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. Okay, so today's video is going to be talking about gratitude journals. I'm sure some of you have either kept a gratitude journal or you know about gratitude journals or you're more curious about gratitude journals. So gratitude journals are a really, really amazing way to cultivate gratitude and thankfulness and just a general positive feeling in your life. Gratitude journals are amazing. So a really famous gratitude journal is the five minute journal from Alex and Mimi. I actually don't have this journal. Instead of buying one and you know, spending 20 bucks, I decided to make one myself. <laughs> So this is my gratitude journal. Um, on the front, it has like a little elephant, and elephants are my spirit animal. I got this in India. Um, I think it was like, I bargained it down to like, I think I bargained this down to like 400 rupees, which was maybe like four or five, six dollars. I don't know, I'm terrible at math. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this. I knew that I really liked it. I liked that it had an elephant on the cover. I liked that I got it in India, but I wasn't really sure. And like the pages on the inside, like they're not lined, like they're just like blank pages. And so I thought that maybe this would be a perfect gratitude journal because I didn't want to spend the 20 bucks on the five minute journal, which I, I, I know it's great. I know it's great. And I know it's probably worth the investment. I just haven't done it. So what I began to do was I just wrote down the date. So I would write down the date. This says January 10th, which was when I started writing in this. Um, and I would write down the happiest moment of the day. Okay, so like on January 10th, we're just gonna share. We'll share a little bit. Um, my happiest moment on January 10th was taking photos on my walk of the snowflakes. <laughs> So that was my happiest moment of that day on January 10th. It's kind of cool to like go and look back and see what you said. Okay, so then after I do the the happiest moment, I write down three things that I'm grateful for. So the things on January 10th that I was grateful for were having so much freedom to go after my dreams, um, a supportive and loving mother, love you mom, happy Mother's Day, <laughs> and um, a warm house to sleep and dream in. So those were the three things that I was grateful for for that day. This is kind of like something that I feel like maybe a little bit special, I don't know. So after I write all that down, I write down my manifestations. So um, I write down as many things that I want in my life. But usually I will go ahead and meditate first on the things that I'm grateful for and then I do the manifestation. So that's really important. You wanna go into your manifestations like you are already super grateful for everything that you have because that's when it's actually gonna come true. I can tell you guys a little bit about what happened with that. Like I, I feel like I got myself in a big funk because I wasn't feeling fully grateful for everything that I had and so I felt like there was this huge lack in my life as far as everything that um, I wanted to get and so it actually caused me to like dip it like in, into a little bit of a depression, which like I'm just getting out of it now. When you fill out the things that you're grateful for, that you truly cultivate the gratitude and just make sure that you feel grateful in your heart. So once you've done that, um, you can go ahead and write down all your manifestations. So um, <laughs> I wrote down a bunch of things like um, I'm so grateful to have a million dollars in the bank account um, that I found like my tribe of people um, and of like friends and things and then um, talked about like finding like my partner in crime, my soulmate and um, finding like a creative place to stay in and um, that I have a really healthy body that I really love and that I really care about. So those are the things that I wrote down on January 10th. So this is super easy. Just go, if you even if you have like a journal, just get your journal, just write down your happiest moment, the three things you're grateful for, meditate on that, and then just figure out your manifestations and what you want in your life. And I promise that it's going to be life changing for you. So if any of you keep a gratitude journal, let me know if you have any tips in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to improve my gratitude journal if there's anything that needs improving. Um, just let me know and go ahead and follow me on all my social media accounts, especially Instagram because I love Instagram and I post there every day. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.